This video shows the complete steps of repairing common AV canal defect, double patch repair. So after AO2 bicable cannulation and gadoplegia, right atrium open and interatrial septum incise and LA vented and anatomy examined. In anatomy, we have to see the type of the AV canal, bridging leaflet, superior and inferior and their connections, mainly the caudal connections. And once you know the caudal connections, you can identify the upper edge of the superior and inferior leaflet. There you can place the stay suture, followed by lower edge, uh, you can pay, place the stay sutures. And this will help you out for the creating the anterior leaflet of mitral valve. The lower edge normally can identified by the caudal attachment to the papillary muscle. Here you can see in the uh, video also. And then you can take the stitch identification stitch of both leaflet. Normally the approximation of the bridging leaflet we do later on after the VST closure. So next step is the VST closure. So in this step, we use 6-0 pro plagiated stitch, multiple stitch we used. And the first stitch we take at the inferior edge of the VSD after passing the stitch from the RV side of the septum, we pass the same stitch to the bridging leaflet and later on this stitch will pass to the pericardial patch for the ASD closure also. This is a very important stitch and a very important step to prevent the conduction injury. So later on I will explain again when I am closing the ASD with the same stitch. After that you have to uh, do the measurement of the VSD length and the breadth and we use the silk thread for that. For breadth, the caudal length uh, is the breadth of the VSD. We try exact length because uh, it will help us to reduce the septal uh, part of the annulus also, mitral annulus and it will help in a uh, good coaptation for the mitral wall. So after that multiple stitches 6-0 plagiated pass to the right ventricular side of the septum and the same stitch pass to the VSD patch which is a 0.4 mm PTFE patch and patch was brought it down and uh, below the caudal attachment we normally keep it so the caudal anatomy will is not uh, disturb when we are taking the multiple stages. So second stitch will be passed from the RV side to the patch and then to the septal uh, leaflet. As I explained, multiple plagiarism stitch were used pass through the RV side of the septum and pass through the PTFE patch and tie down. Same over and over again, we have done the same stitch to the RV side of the septum and to the patch. At superior edge, at the corner, we can trim the VSD patch and once we tie down the stitch, we can pass the same stitch to the septal leaflet and that was that will be used for the closure of ASD later on. So in this way, the septal part of the VSD patch
has been stitched. Now the upper inferior and superior bridging leaflet is approximated by interrupted 60 proline. As we have already taken the stitch before, it is very easy to approximate. And the next step is closing the ASD patch with the autologous glutally treated pericardium. Use 60 stitch which has passed from the PTFE patch, then bridging leaflet and the pericardial patch. So as I told you initially, the first stitch which we have used from RV bridging leaflet and to the pericardial patch was tied down. And to prevent the gap, the same stitch, we have taken in and out and tie down again. According to the length, pericardial patch was trimmed. Now multiple stitch passed from between the PTFE patch, leaflet and the pericardial patch. You close completely in this way all up to superior age. The multiple stitch was used which has been passed between the PTFE patch, leaflet and the pericardium. Now the time to check the residual VSD or any additional VSD. So the saline was injected into the LV and checked from the RV side. Now here there was no leak so we are proceeding to close the ASD. From the inferior side the we use mitral annulus as a marking for closing the ASD to prevent the injury. We normally maintain the normal anatomy we don't put coronary sinus to the left side so the stitch what we used is the first stitch which we have used pass through the mitral annulus and continues down after one or two stitch we used suture posterior suture annuloplasty for mitral wall every av canal repair Mitral annuloplasty is important because it maintains the re uh, repair very well and it reduces the stress on the leaflet. Use 50 plagiated stitch and after placing the adequate hagar, we tie that. Now the fixing the suture again with the pericardium. Now the time to check the mitral valve. Saline injected in mitral to see any leak is there or any prolapse. It looks really good. After that we'll check the tricuspid valve. And at this stage if any uh, deficient leaflet in the septal side of the tricuspid valve we take the sum stitch here in this case there was tricuspid valve leak was mild to moderate so we continued closing the ASD ASD continuous suture technique pass from the pericardium mitral annulus and similar fashion once you come to the interatrial septum it become a safe area once we close the ASD, you can uh, give a hot shot and release the clamp. This is the post-op echo, epicardial echo with a good repair.